Good morning everyone. I just uh, quickly want to share something with you that uh, God has shown me last night through a dream and scripture I received. Um, I really believe that um, something bad is about to happen. As I'm, I'm going to read the scripture to you that, as that God has shown me. And through that scripture you'll know exactly what, what God's trying to, to tell us all. Destruction is coming. It's coming soon. We all know that uh, President Obama is uh, um, about to um, leave uh, for his uh, visit um, to Israel. And we all know what's about to happen there. And we also all know that scripture tells or says that um, when they say peace and safety, destruction cometh. I also had a dream a couple of weeks ago which points out to the destruction that's uh, coming upon the earth soon. I believe that we are very close to it now. Um, now back to what God has shown me. Um, I can't remember the exact uh, dream that I had or uh, the entire dream. I only remember a certain part which I believe um, it's, uh, is the most important part. It, it was quite disturbing though. Um, I remember uh, at, at one stage in the dream that thousands of women were taken away from their households and husbands by, by men. Uh, certain tribes of men uh, or, or a certain clan of men. I can't remember the specific details about these men. All I, all I remember was that women were taken away as slaves from their households and husbands. Um, and a certain group of women uh, were used uh, for sexual pleasures, were slaves for sexual pleasures. pleasures. Um, and I was among, among those very unlucky ones. I remember that um, myself and a couple of other women, or not a couple, uh, hundreds of other women that was used for this uh, specific um, purpose, were stripped down naked um, and were given these woven uh, skirts to wear. And apart from that, we were completely naked from head to toe. We were placed upon podiums inside a very large room or hall. And men, hundreds of them, would come inside this hall, sit down and just um, stare at our naked bodies for pleasure. Um, and they would actually pay large amounts of money to our masters or the, the guys that owned us. Um, and we weren't allowed to do anything besides just stand still and, and allow these men to stare at our naked bodies from head to toe. Well, I woke up immediately afterwards and um, I received Jeremiah 6. But I went back to sleep again. I never read it. And this morning I woke up and I was immediately reminded again about this verse. But I couldn't then remember if it was uh, Jeremiah 6 or, or either 9 and I just let it go. And on Sunday mornings on TV here in South Africa we have programs about gospel and preachers preaching the word. Uh, a couple or a few, a few programs. And in one program, uh, the preacher actually uh, spoke about rejection. And I was again immediately reminded about the scripture that I received. So I, I took my Bible and I opened up at uh, 1 Jeremiah 6. Now, I've got the uh, God's Word translation and my Bible has got headings in it. And that's, uh, after reading that heading, I knew exactly that Jeremiah 6 was what God wa uh, wanted uh, me to share with the world or bring under our attention. Um, I believe that something very bad is about to happen. Otherwise, God um, wouldn't have uh, given this uh, scripture to me as, uh, as eagerly and as urgently as he did. I'm going to start reading it, and um, 
please just bear with the pronunciation of uh, certain names, especially in the first verse, as uh, some of them are just so hard to, to pronounce. I'm going to start reading it, and there's also a certain verse that um, I'm, I'm, that's obviously a highlight in this whole scripture, or in this whole um, yeah, this whole scripture that I received, um, which relates exactly to, or not exactly, but which relates to the dream that I had, which is also God again pointing out that Jeremiah 6 was what he wanted to bring under our attention. And maybe also once he wants to highlight this verse as maybe saying that this is about to happen, something this awful is about to happen. I'm going to start reading. It says, Take cover, people of Benjamin. Run away from Jerusalem. Blow your ram's horn, horn in Tekoa. Raise a flag over Beth HaKerim, because disaster and widespread destruction are coming from the north. My people Zion are like lovely pastures. With their flocks, shepherds will come to them, pitch their tents all around them, and each of them will tend to his own flock. The shepherds say, Prepare yourselves for war against Zion. Let's attack at noon. How horrible it will be for us. The day is passing and the shadows of evening are growing longer. Let's attack at night and destroy its palaces. This is what the Lord of Armies says. Cut down its trees, build up dirt mounds to attack Jerusalem. The city must be punished. There is nothing but oppression in it. As the well keeps its water fresh, so Jerusalem keeps its evil fresh. Violence and destruction can be heard in it. I see that it is sick and wounded. Pay attention to my warning, Jerusalem, or I will turn away from you. I will make your land desolate, a land where no one will live. This is what the Lord of armies says. Thoroughly pick through the faithful few of Israel, like someone picks through a grapevine, like someone picking grapes. Pass your hand over its branches again. Whom can I speak to? Whom can I give warning to? Who will listen? Their ears are plugged and they aren't able to pay attention when the Lord speaks his word to them. They show contempt for it and object to it. I am filled with anger of the Lord. I am tired of holding it in. Pour it out on the children in the street and on the gangs of young men. A man and his wife will be taken away as well as very old people. Now the next verse, verse 12, relates to the dream I had. And I believe that God wants to highlight this, this verse. Their households, their fields, and their wives will be turned over to others. I will use my power against those who live in the land, declares the Lord. Verse From verse 30 now. All of them, from the least important to the most important, are eager to make money dishonestly. All of them, people from prophets to priests, priests act deceitfully. They treat my people's wounds as though, as though they were not serious, saying everything is all right. Everything is all right, but it's not all right. Are they ashamed when they do disgusting things? No, they're not ashamed. They don't even know how to blush. So they will die with those who die. They will be brought down when I punish them, says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Stand at the crossroads and look. Ask which paths are the old reliable paths. Ask which way leads to blessings. Live that way and find a resting place for yourselves. But you said that you wouldn't live that way. I posted watchmen over you. Pay attention to the sound of the, of the ram's horn. But you said that you wouldn't pay attention. Now we all know that God had in the last couple of months sent destruction after destruction upon the, upon the earth through... Um, uh, 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 disasters like earthquakes and, and, and tornadoes and um, storms etc and that was sorely to, to wake up the people of the earth to have them um, put their focus back onto God but people are rejecting this people are rejecting God that's why destruction is coming, and it's so soon. It's, it's almost here. I'm going to continue um, from verse 17. I posted, watch, reading again, uh, uh, verse 17. 
I posted watchmen over you, pay attention to the sound of the ram's horn. But you said that you wouldn't pay attention. Again, warnings has been sent over and over and over again. And I believe that God is at a time where he just, um, he says, it's enough. I can't anymore. Those of you who hadn't listened up to now, won't listen. I have, I've, I've sent destruction upon destruction, but you um, kept following your own ways and turned your back on me, turned your backs on me. Um, listen, you nations, and learn, you witnesses, what will happen to them. Listen, earth, I'm going to bring disaster on these people. It is a res result of their own plots. Because they won't pay attention to my words, they reject my teachings. Incense that comes from Sheba is not good to me. Sugar cane that comes from a distant land is not good to me. I won't accept your burnt offerings. I'm not pleased with your sacrifices. This is what the Lord says. I'm going to lay stumbling blocks in front of these people. Parents and children will stumble over them. Neighbors and their friends will die. This is what the Lord says. An army is coming from the north. A great nation is preparing itself in the distant parts of the earth. Its people take hold of bows and spears. They are cruel and have no compassion. They sound like the roaring sea. They ride on horses. They march like soldiers ready for battle against my people Zion. We have heard the news about them. Our hands hang limp. We are gripped by anguish and pain like a woman giving birth to a child. Don't go into the field or walk on the road. The enemy has a sword. Terror is all around it. Wear sackcloth and roll around in ashes, my people. Mourn as if you have lost your only, your only child and cry bitterly. The destroyer will suddenly attack us. Jeremiah, I have put you in charge of testing and refining my people. You will know how to test their ways. They are all vicious rebels. They go around slandering. They are like bronze, they are all like bronze and iron. They corrupt themselves. The bellows of the blast furnace blow fiercely to make the fire melt away the lead. It is useless to go on refining because the impurities can't be removed. People will call them useless silver because the Lord has rejected them. As I said in the beginning of this video, we all know that President Obama is, uh, is about uh, to leave on his trip uh, to Israel. And um, we all know what it's about. Also, just remember what scripture says. That uh, when they say peace and safety, destruction cometh. And I believe that that is what will be said. I believe the peace and safety is the reason for his visit and I believe that it will be fulfilled and I also believe that destruction will then come. People please, it's almost already too late. Seek, seek God now while he still may be found. We're, we're, in, we're at, at um, the end of Feb now. There's only two or three weeks left. We don't know for certain what's about to come. We don't know for certain when it's about to come. As, uh, but God is showing us all through uh, disasters that is uh, warnings he's sending on the earth by destruction. And um, that um, something awful is about to happen. He's trying to get us, uh, he's trying to get our attention. He's trying to wake us up. Please open your eyes. See things as it is. Believe what the word says, because this is the truth. This and only this is the truth. And God still loves us all so much that he's still sending out warnings in these last days. Please seek Jesus now. Seek God now. It is almost too late. Don't turn your backs on him. You don't want to go there. Rather seek him now, make peace. Repent of your sins 
Give your lives to Jesus. Turn from your evil and wicked ways. And miss, the, uh, and miss what's, upon, what's about to come on the earth. Because it is coming. I had a dream a couple of weeks ago also about destruction that's about to, to come. And again now, same message. God is, uh, is trying to wake us up. He's trying to um, make us aware of what's about to come. He's actually screaming it. He's actually shouting it. But people still won't hear. People still won't listen. He's still giving all of you guys, all of you who won't listen, this last chance. And this is seriously the last chance. Because it is coming. And it's coming very soon. It's coming very soon. Give your lives to Jesus. Get saved.